Um, I see social circle game as something that is long term and doesn't necessarily happen overnight, uh, at least for most people. Uh, a lot of guys don't know where to start. Uh, what can guys start doing right now and where can they be two years or even five years from now if they I, act right now? Yeah, I definitely don't think you need two years. Uh, I would say, uh, you know what, let's do this instead. Ice wants to know where you would start. So I'm going to, since I, I helped you where to start, tell Nate, tell Ice where you would start. If you were in a new city and you wanted to learn uh, social circle game, what would you start doing? So the first thing I would do is make sure Instagram is good. So uh, that would include at least like 20 solid pictures conveying some kind of status uh that could be a lot of things so without instagram you're really just kind of just shooting yourself in the foot like it's it's you're making your job dating like ex much much harder um the next thing i would do is obviously use if you're just trying to improve your dating life uh use uh inst use uh, dating apps and try to recruit uh female friends in the city so what i would do is i would what I kind of did is I just basically got to know the city better by just going on dates from dating apps. Um, the next thing I would do is, so the way I did it was I found a place, I set up a photo shoot. So I set, I reached out to photographers and local models. And what I basically did was I, was I just basically set up a photo shoot where I rented a place from Airbnb and just just uh, set up a photo shoot there with uh, DMs to photographers and to uh, uh, like local models. And I did that with a friend and we got about 10 girls to show up to a really cool apartment. Um, from there, one of the models slept over and she was probably one of the, she was like 19 and she was probably one of the top 10 like uh, hottest girls in the city for her age. So... Uh, I ended up dating her for a while. What really helped is I'm dating this like about maybe a month and a half after I've landed in Budapest. I'm dating one of the like top 10 young girls in the city. She's dated like uh, almost, it was weird. Like her dating history was like uh, celebrities, athletes, and then me. <laughs> so like some random, some random fuck boy from, <laughs> from America. And uh, now she's dating another like soccer player or something. But so I'm, I was dating this girl and this actually conveyed a lot of status on me that I'm with this chick. So like when I would set up like small container events for other girls to come and for other guys to come because she was with me, other girls would want to come because there's another girl that's coming with you. That's really cool and very pretty and other girls like a lot. So what I would do basically is just try to uh, use dating apps or set up some kind of event to try and meet high status girls. Dating apps probably won't work too well for that, but just set, try and set up events or just go to uh, just try to get like, Try to date like at least one or two like high status girls and that'll just make your life so much easier or at least just make friends with them. So just make female friends that you can like rely on to like show up to places that'll make, that'll get other people to come. So you can actually set up these like small events and then your social circle is basically taken care of. So then you have like small events going and, uh, and you can just grow from there. So I would say the key to everything is just to, just to find uh female friends or just to find uh girls you can date that are like uh that other people want to be around okay so that that was i said i just wanted nate to talk about that just because i wanted to show that, that this is a teachable thing it's pretty easy so for me the main thing is going to be like i i need to become in phase with whatever the cool things in that city are where the cool kids are where the where the mean girls sit okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna go and i'm gonna find like the prettiest girls, the best photographers, the best venues. And I'm going to see like, how are they all connected? And I'm going to create a list, a literal spreadsheet for whatever city I'm in. And I'm going to make sure that list is as big as possible. So my list right now for Vegas, is just about, it's about 400 girls for Los Angeles, about 800 girls. And then I have a separate list for photographers, a separate list for sponsors, all that kind of stuff. Right. And then I'm going to make my social media. It needs to show irrefutable visual evidence and it needs to show access to scarce resources. And if you don't know what those words mean, it's real simple. Just go to my IG, go to Corey's IG, or go to any of the IGs for the guys that are in Men of Action, and then you can see what that looks like. So now when I message, when I cold message Liddy and she sees, hey, I actually am at the Ignite Party, the Maxim Party, the Playboy Mansion, and I'm, Ignite, and I'm inviting her to those things, she's going to respond. She's going to say, yes, you're doing this for Animal Rescue. Fuck yeah, I'll be there. 100% I'll be there. Or she's going to say, hey, thank you for inviting me. 
I can't make it this time, but thank you for inviting me. And I don't think about it in a situation where, oh, this was my ploy, my plot to sleep with Liddy. That was not the point. The point was to open a thread with another influencer, another influential person. And these not just men, females, males too, another influential person, another influential, open another thread, another thread, another thread, another thread. So you have threads open with all of them. Now, when the Super Bowl party comes and everybody wants to come, like on February 10th, when we throw that Super Bowl party, now everyone comes to the event. People that I message, like, it's like, like before it was like, who can you meet at the mall doing day game? Now it's like Kendall Jenner. Like that's where you're going. Does that make sense? Like you message her and she's going to be like, oh, well, actually, I, I do want to go to this event. Now it's like, it's not just, hey, how can I figure out a way to get into live on a Sunday? Now it's like, I'm going to the Met Gala with, with, with fucking Jay-Z. Like that's the level you want to go to. I know, I know it seems like an exaggeration and it's way up there, but it's not that much of an exaggeration. That's how these things work. That's how the people who go to those events, they do that by networking. That's how the, this whole thing works. So the networking comes first. Nate is specifically talking about dating. I don't even, I'm not even concerned about your dating life. Like seriously, like I don't want to teach a dating course. I want to teach a course on how to have a fucking awesome life. And then you just get chose by women. That's what I would rather do. And so that's what, that's what, and essentially that's what happens. And I've, I've said this a million times before. If you, if you look at my life and you're just like, Hey, Michael, we just, we threw a party. Like you said, now what happens afterwards? Like, if you think that I, if you look at this photograph and you're sitting there like, man, I wonder how, what Michael did afterwards. If you're confused, I'm not going to say what I did, but if you're confused about what happened afterwards, then you have a problem. Like you're, you're literally so out of touch with reality. Like, I don't hey, know Michael, how else, that looks I don't know how else boring. Yeah, I don't know how, how else to help you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? And so for a lot of guys, especially pickup guys are like, oh yeah, look at, there he is with all those 20 girls. I bet he didn't fuck all of them. You're right, I didn't. I didn't fuck all of them. You're right, I didn't. Maybe I didn't fuck any of them. Maybe we just got to the book of Leviticus. I don't fucking know. But the point is, the point is, the, the point is to, imp, to imbue status on yourself, confer status on yourself. Don't worry about the rest of it. Build up your own status first and then just don't worry about the rest of it. The rest of it will handle itself. Make sense? Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Ice, what's the next question? Hold on. Lacey has a question. Lacey, what's going on? I just, I don't have a question. I just wanted to like um, elaborate a little bit too. I feel like when guys are setting up the photo shoots and they go successful, it's all about the follow up and follow through. And you want to build a rapport with everybody, not just the hottest girl. Maybe the hottest girl brought her friend who's a four. You want to make everyone comfortable. So it's like almost like this is your reference check to get in with other models, other influencers. You want to really like spread your attention elsewhere and make sure that you're connecting with everyone when you're doing this. Cause I feel like I've been to photo shoots that Michael has sponsored and they've all or not sponsored, but like with men of action and they've all been so great. Um, but everyone's attention to detail is there and making sure that the girls feel welcome, that they feel safe. Um, yeah. So what? how, about, like, like, that? how, how about following guys? How about when you do a photo shoot, follow up with a girl that you didn't pay any attention to and make sure she also gets her photos. That's another thing I do. Yeah. When girls will message me like, I didn't get my photos, then I'll hit up the photographer. And the photographers will be ghosting these girls. They'll be like, hey, man, I need you to get so-and-so her photos. And they'll be like, okay, cool. They don't want to piss me off. I was the one who set up the photo shoot. That's what you should be using yeah. your influence for, to make sure that these girls all get their photos. Even if they just get raws, get their photos. That's what you should be doing. Okay, cool. 